Welcome to the Stand on Your Investment podcast, presented by UC Hunting Properties and Expedition Land Management, where professionals from around the country will dive deep into land management strategies, investing in recreational real estate, and all things hunting. All right, we got a special podcast today. Coming live to you from Des Moines, Iowa, uh, with the man, the myth, the legend, John Bungie. He's the president of the Iowa Deer Classic, um, arguably the greatest whitetail show on earth. Who argues with that? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, so we got John with us, uh, as always, Travis Homley. We got Nate Ammons with us uh, from Hawkeye Farm Management and Real Estate. We've basically compiled the team from Iowa uh, that that fled the UC Hunting Properties flag, and we're here amongst our people. We love this show. Um, John, give us some of the highlight reel on this thing because I I've been I think I've been to every one since it's been in Des Moines. That's dating me because that goes all the way yeah. back to when I was in college. So you're yeah. really freaking old. Well, yeah, um. <laughs> tell me about it, and then uh, add the dog years thing to me. But anyway. Yeah, the big deal this year is I think everybody in the universe that's a hunter is here. <laughs> I would agree with we're, that. We're busting the doors down Friday and Saturday, and today we've been piled up out in the lobby this morning, which on a Sunday morning is uh, something. So people, vendors are happy. We've got a ton of exhibitors. Absolutely. We've got them out in the lobbies, upstairs this year even, and, of course, all A, B, and C halls are full, and, and every aisle's been jammed. It's been well, you awesome. Guys, you guys are doing it right. I mean, the the excitement in the air is here. There's no doubt about it. Everyone's enthusiastic about Iowa and what's happening in Iowa when it comes to big deer. I think oh. uh, the big buck contest and the shed contest, I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that's second to nowhere Dude, in the country. Awesome. Dude, I always say – a lot of other shows have to pay to bring antler displays in. Well, we grow them here. I mean, our Hall of Fame display, it's bigger than it's been. I mean, t- is that not a world-class display? That's, those are It's incredible. almost fake. Those are all past big buck entries that may meet the Boone and Crockett categories, and we invite them back every year. if they We give them free tickets to come, and if they bring their deer, and it's, oh, my gosh. It's it works. crazy. Yeah, and then we've got a lot of the, every year there's new deer. You know, that McCarty buck's up there. That's the new number to be, two. New number two. Yeah, but at number ten all time, it's supposed to be wow. of of uh, archery typical, typical archery typical. Yeah. And there's more. It's not just that one. It's you well, know. Well, I remember just, last fall when that picture, you know, hit the internet. It almost instantly went viral, and it was all top secret squirrel stuff. You know, where'd that deer get yeah. killed? You know, everybody knew it was Iowa. And I, I think back. I think I even called you or texted yeah. you, Nate, and said, "Dude, who is this guy? Like, <laughs> yeah. where's this deer from? What's the story?" But um, he's upstairs. If somebody's here and listens to the podcast, uh, go check that deer out. I'm, I'm sure he's in the contest. But even on top of, you know, what is now looking like the new number two typical archery kill, there is a slick 10-pointer in the Oof. contest upstairs that grosses right at 200. I think it netted out at like 191. Was it 191? 191 and some change, yeah. What I do know for a fact, God does not make 10-pointers much better than this one. Um, I don't know the the specifics behind it but it's got to have 28 29 inch beams i mean it's dagger tines wow. huge frame it it when i close my eyes and think of a perfect deer that's what i see i mean the know. g4s are longer than the g2s on that thing yeah it's it's, it's scary I mean, big it's I'm, scary big and and the, and the youth entries are crazy john i mean it's <laughs> yeah that whole <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the I mean I'm 56 put- years old. Give me a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, these kids, I mean, come on. Really? <laughs> well, I, I'd like to think every one of them have a whack job dad like yeah. us, you yeah. know, that, right. that have farms or managing farms, uh, looking for the right farm. And um, yeah. those kids are those kids are lucky kids to, yeah. to be in this great state of Iowa. Well, and you guys know the – the hottest thing going here is land, managing your land, food plots, and the whole, I mean, it's just, that's just gone bonkers. Wow, that's at least your perception, John, because you know me personally, and I think <laughs> that cool wears off into your perception of <laughs> what the buzzy words in the industry. All joking aside, uh, at the booth, we got some hot new listings, Southern Iowa, Northern Iowa, we got things cracking. Yeah. Um, Nate's got a lot of his team here. Travis Homley's got a lot of his team here. We're well represented. If, if somebody's looking for a piece of ground in Iowa or, or maybe even looking to sell, um, the market's still smoking yeah. hot. Stop by. These guys can help coach you through. Um, beyond that, John, what 
Can you even give us an inkling of attendance? Because this is hands down well, the busiest I've seen the show. We're always, I mean, on normal conditions, we're over 20,000 people for the three days. And I, I, I don't know numbers, but it's, like I say, we're up. And it's got to be a record. <laughs> yeah, and so even just everything, like exhibitors selling out of stuff and the, the archery shoots, you know, the 3D shoot, they're way over the the shooters they've ever had. I mean, everywhere we have so many activities, and like we we had over we were right at 300 big buck entries yesterday. That's so awesome. not counting today. So I mean, everything wow. is up, and we have all these activities and just the buzz around. Three seminar stages running yeah. all day long, and I mean, it's just awesome. No, it is awesome, and like like I said, the vibe is awesome. The vibe in this booth got awesome yesterday because. Uh, Nate to my right here <laughs> may have may have grouped the most legendary seven pointer to ever grace the state of so. Iowa, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Nate, grab them horns. You gotta yeah. you get, get them on this camera because this thing's like. Oh jeez. Yeah. What, look at that what is that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that is holy moly. This is the side that we had level. forever, and then we were just able to put that one with it. It's a pretty big deal, and weren't expecting it at all. Uh, but uh, we got together with the guy that ended up with that one, and and uh, I decided we wanted to put them together. So. But the weight on each one of these is over 13 pounds, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, three pounds. Three, well, this, three, seven, I think, three, three, eight, eight, yeah, three, I think eight. this one was three, yeah, three, eight, yeah. and three, seven, yeah. so three Ridiculous. and a half and just under. Yeah, I mean. So what? over seven pounds on top of his head running around through the woods. So, so this we're looks gonna, like we're a chisel <laughs> plow. You can hook this up. On. <laughs> we're going to put a little management spin on this because, I mean, I know we talk about, you know, managing farms, cold deer, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't know anyone in their right mind. This deer, Nate, you said you thought it was, what, eight, nine? They were, yeah, it, and, it, and it disappeared after that, you know, a year. So it was ancient and yeah. uh, had some buddies that had been chasing him for years ahead of that. And uh, I'll put it this way. Yes, it's a shitty seven-pointer, but no, it's not. <laughs> 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 I would shoot. I only go for eights. I could oh, shoot. Oh, this, oh this my gosh. Is, uh, you almost got to get your hands on it. So swing I by can't. our booth. We're at. 332 and 334 with the UC Hunting Properties booth. John, we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we know you're busy running ragged right now, but uh, wanted to give you guys props for putting on what we would argue is the best show Absolutely. in the outdoors. Great yeah, show, John. Glad to have you guys here. I appreciate the opportunity. And, John, whenever you're ready to keep spending the money you're creating at this show on more property, I know some guys, just saying. <laughs> yeah, you know where to find me. I know where to find you. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll wrap this one up. We appreciate it. And, John, keep up the great work. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for watching this episode of the Stand on Your Investment podcast presented by UC Hunting Properties and Expedition Land Management.